checks and we got checks all on the wish list Couldn't predict this from hanging with the wrong audience to running this show I'm finally living but then I'm again and I didn't know, no Didn't know I get this dream, the chicks that used to scream got me up in their dreams I didn't know, no, didn't know I come out clean The only time the homies see me is on TV uh, screen I didn't know, I didn't know Yo, 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 what's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, other way out. How's everybody doing? Let's get it started, Miss Summer Gun. Yes! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You sound like you're having yes. too good of a time watching wrestling. You need to knock it Yes! Out. I see fine ass holes on here. Ooh, Jesus have mercy. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating, Lord Jesus. I'm sweating. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, it's been that way, girl. Oh, hallelujah. So oh, oh, oh my bad, my bad. Get a grip. Good Lord. Lady in red, say what's good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm highly disturbed right now. You're highly disturbed? <laughs> oh, <dude>. <laughs> <laughs> got her freaking out. Like we freaking the fuck out. Like, this is it. why we don't entertain this. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. Yes. Oh, you said call me a pedophile? No, like a preacher what, that was what a the pedophile. Fuck? Like, we're done with that. We're done with that saga. Or a preacher that was masturbating, man, heavenly. <laughs> I- Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, man. We wasn't talking about masturbating. What are you talking about? Hey, man. You need to chill. Hey, you need to knock that off. You tripping. Okay. Anyways, it's Wizard, a.k.a. Wiz. Why? Can- can- a.k.a. Wizard. Can you can you explain why? Like, call me Wiz. Cause, cause you cannot fathom the wizard train. So how are you gonna act when I go around the world? <laughs> when I go around the world, well, that's not quite what I said. I was gonna yeah. say because you're off to see the wizard. That's why you're on the podcast. The one. Do 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 do. Hey, ooh, oh don't my think, god! I don't think nobody really knows the rest of those words. Besides, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of our. We're gonna Ooh. see her and we're gonna beat her down. Hey, we're off to see what? the wizard, the wonderful no, wizard of our. No, no, we're gonna no. fuck that bitch tonight. Yes, we are. Hey, no, we're off to see no. the wizard. Whoa. What? What's up? Those are not none of the damn words. You yes. are. That is whole. That's the blackbird. <laughs> Man, no. those are the nigga version. No, no, the nigga version is. Can you feel a brand new day? Can you feel a no, 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 no. brand new day? No, 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 no. No, that's the black version. I'm talking about the nigga version. The, so the, Get it right now. The nigga version? Okay, fine. Well, anyway, this is a Levin Time Podcast. It's Wiz, Beast Boy, Lady in Red. Others are going to make it on the next part. Possibly. I don't know if I'll do another one. And, uh,. Let's get into what happened, because we're talking about pop culture and funny stuff and what happened. So, Beast Boy, what happened for your week, sir? Oh, what happened? What happened? Let's see. Hmm, what did happen? Oh, yeah. You smoked too much weed. I beat up some kids. Wow. Just wow. Yeah, I I beat up kids. I beat them up in wrestling. On a video game. Okay, okay, okay. I feel better. What you were talking about? Okay. What you were talking about? I thought you were talking about that one time I was over there. You got one of the neighborhood kids. You smacked him against the wall and said, don't talk to me crazy again. I thought it was one of those situations. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was yesterday. Oh, oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) Sir, why? So you're beating kids. It's curly. Yeah. Okay. I had a fun day oh. doing that. Okay. Anything else happened, bro? Uh, nah, just getting packed up, getting ready. That's right. Oh, yeah, getting ready, man, for the trip. All right, there's a lady in red there. She can tell us what happened and what's going on. I'm here. What? Um, I said, I'm here. 
That's a much We're going doing... on. Okay. Huh? I'm listening. Oh, <laughs> uh, nothing much going on. Just uh, dealing with the Christmas stuff for the children in the community and stuff like that. Um, oh, got rid of a bad. Mm, what's a nice word that I can use? Ooh, pest out my life now. R.I.P. Dead to me. Um, Do you want to explain what but, your friend did? Uh, basically, he lied to me for 12 years of our friendship. Basically, he was just trying to use me as his side chick. Oh, he's trying to treat you like Why, a side got, chick. Yeah. <laughs> he, um... Basically, why he got a whole girlfriend out here who is pregnant with his third child, which is his third baby mama. Jeez. Yes. Jeez. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure I got this right. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. What I heard is that he treated like a, a side chick, right? That's just what he wanted me to be. Yeah, no. You're not going to be that because you're my sister. My sister's never a side chick. If I ever come to find out that... He told me I was tripping for nothing and I was in my feelings and I could take it as whatever. Uh, Alright, give me his address. What's with you always trying to find somebody's address? Every time you get heated with somebody... He's military, baby. Yeah, every time you get heated with somebody... I'm not going to shit. I got got family in the military. I don't give a shit. My cousin almost my cousin up there right. He the MP. Man, give me this nigga address. Sir, every I time don't know every don't time you get heated about something, you always well, go to straight find the address of the person that pissed, pissed you off. Yeah, hell yeah, like, time to beat them up there. You be like a vulture Look, waiting from the good week. Anyway, he nah, 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 nah. He he gave me his phone number. Like, he basically was like even though I got a girl, is it okay if I still have sex with you? And I'm like, no. No. Hell, if you had to say yes, I probably would have beat your ass, then found him and beat his ass. Whoa, you're going to beat oh, yeah, everyone's no. ass? Yes. Gee. Hey, fam. You're going to beat her for saying yes. Well, that's not me, so. All right. I want to beat your ass now. Let me, let me get his phone number. But, that's all yeah, I want. He didn't tell me that. <laughs> That's yeah, interesting. I was going, that leads me into my what happened. So we're gonna jump right in. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this nigga phone number. Whoa. What? Uh, that, Let me get this. I, 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 unfortunately, Bro, I know that number by heart, but I'm not gonna get it. Why? Get yourself in a bad place in life. You trying to fight everybody? Man, look how I'm already in a bad place in life. I'm going to shake the hell anyway, so my world, <laughs> before I die and leave this earth, I'm going to go ahead and beat every last motherfucker I can. <laughs> Sir, it's not given. As long as you believe and you have some type of strength, you can laugh. I do believe, but I'm a, I'm a, look here, I believe I can beat this nigga ass, too. Oh, my um, goodness. Don't worry, he'll eventually catch something the way he's going. Oh, man. I don't get. He don't catch my foot up his ass. Give me his number. Oh my goodness! I, why won't you do it? <laughs> you said, "Why won't you do it?" Yo, why? I would to get. I would to tell God. Beast Boy. Remember the new show I told you about by Spike Lee? About, uh, she's got to have it. <laughs> she got to have my dick. <laughs> That's exactly what it is about. She's pretty. Spike Lee did this movie back in the '86. She's a hoe. Gee, can I finish the thing? <laughs> Cheese and rice. I was about to say. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying though. I'm I'm, I'm commentating on everything. So just be warned, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be commentating on everything they say. Oh God. Go ahead. Just okay. Oh, hey, that was she said last night. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> You you have had, you probably don't you're probably un, you're uncouth, sir. You're uncouth. So you wouldn't you don't know about movies like Spike Lee, bro. Spike Lee is that man. He's done Malcolm. And she was on call last night. Hold on, hold on. Who? But I know. I don't need a caller. Hold on. I don't need a caller. Oh, she's not talking to me. She's talking about getting a comb for that red hair of hers. <laughs> that red hair. But okay, I'm talking about Spike Lee though. You know, 
Spike Lee's done Mal- Malcolm X. Um, what was the other gents I watched the movie about the bank? Help me out. It was about the bank and the Nazis, Beast Boy. I had no idea. Damn it. I don't watch movies like that. Shit. I wasn't prepared. I don't remember. I had all those movies at the top of my name. It was the highest one. Inside Man. That's it. It's Inside Man. He's done. I heard about it, but i never seen it. That's a really good movie with Denzel Washington, man. He, he kills it. There's another one he did with Denzel Washington. It's uh, He's Got Game, I believe. He's Got Game. And there's a lot of things with nouns in it. He's done a lot of movies with nouns in the name. He's like the black version of T- Quentin Tarantino. He doesn't make like crazy shit, but he has a, a very strange and unorthodox style to his films. And so... I guess Netflix was like, yo, well, no, actually, no, he came to, he came to Netflix, because he, he tried to approach some shows, but this show was kind of like, next level, it's pretty much about his very first movie called She's Gotta, She's Gotta Have It, right? Mm-hmm. Now, Beast Boy, you're gonna love this, it's about a woman who is sexually free, how do you feel about that? What's her, what's her name? She didn't come over here. Her name is Nola Darling. I saw like What's one episode of it. it was good. Oh, what'd you say, Lady Red? You saw an episode, you liked it? Yeah. What'd you think about uh, her suitors? Her suitors? Uh, uh, I, I, oh, I, oh, I can't forget about this name. But I'm not going to spoil it. But, uh, oh, it's okay. Their names are known in the cultural zeitgeist, at least for... Okay, Mars, Mr. Mars, because my mom named me Mars because I am out of this universe. He is so weird. I hate He's, that dude. He I weird. hate that character. He looks like a straight jackass. Man, I don't like that character, man. Like, he's freaking got a bottle. Aren't Who gets a gold grill at the bottom of their teeth? And it's crooked. Oh, it is crooked, isn't it? I didn't even notice that. But, yeah, he pretty much is one of the suitors that's trying to pursue this girl, Nola. And then she's got Jamie Overstreet. He's a 40-year-old married man with a kid who lives in upstate New York. Living, you know, and he's got money. And he's like, oh, this new young 20-something-year-old girl. I want to take care of her, make her my woman. And then she's got this, the, the middle of them, the middle of both of them. He is light-skinned like Mars, but he's classy like Jamie Overstreet. But he's so damn narcissistic. It's painful. Kind of okay, like me. Like, eh? No. That'd be kind of like me. He takes selfies a lot. I take selfies a lot. Man, nah, Lady in Red. You ain't like this dude look in the mirror like, I'm so sexy. I'm the perfect light skinned specimen. This nigga reminds me. You don't think me. I do that? I mean, I got a mirror and I look at yeah, my face. Yeah, you phone. are light skinned. Ha 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 ha. I'm the only sexy motherfucker here. Sir. No hate. I appreciate the natural talent for me. I don't know about that gut, brother. You gotta get a gut like mine. I'm got, I got ass. Look here, look here, look here. See, you ain't got ass. But I'm a teddy bear to the girls. You, you know what? Yeah, you can. I'll get you that. I don't have enough meat on my bones, man. La- wait, lady in red. Do, am I, am I, am I, do I got enough meat on my bones? Uh-huh. Do I have enough meat on my bones? Like, am I, am I too skinny? No. Okay. I like your ribs. Boom. Alright, alright. I'll put it like this then. Lady in red. What do you think a girl might prefer? A six pack or a teddy bear? I have never had experience with a teddy bear. With a teddy bear? Mmm. Lady in red Other shallow. Than, the female like, shallow how? I'm not shallow. Hold I mean, on, hold on. My brother was considered a teddy bear, but I mean, it's just I never been with anybody teddy bear like size. She's right. She's shallow. She she don't want no fat boy. Yeah. I'm not shallow. Okay. So uh, okay. Out of the three guys on, she's gotta have it. Who you who you picking? Who you picking? Oh no. What do you mean you don't know? First of all, first of all, it ain't Mars. I the only reason why I see she's into him because he can make her laugh, and laugh is good for the soul. Okay. So so we take out the young annoying Um, millennial. The hip hop millennial, the the middle one, him, and now uh, he cute. I ain't into that. He has a cute face. Of course, he's he light skinned, really just cute. like you. You you light skinned people stick together. Oh please, I talked to a dark skinned person before, so shit. 
I don't count. Uh, you're, you're not considered dark. I'm dark enough. No, I mean darker than you. Wow. Uh, I'm dark. Well, no, me and you are the same tone, man. No, 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 no. I'm much darker. <laughs> that's because you be in the sun a lot. Yeah, you're that's so why. Dark. But you ain't like super dark. Like you ain't much dark. Not my brother. Oh yeah, your older brother. Oh that. Yeah. Bitch, <laughs> Nah, I haven't gone. Nah, I never went midnight. <laughs> no, you should see my brother. His brother midnight, bro. His brother <laughs> midnight. That dude is scary as shit. Nah. You see him in the alley, you might be scared as hell. You might just give him your wallet. He'll just be walking past. <laughs> I miss the Sis, I would see you. Matter of fact, where my phone? No, I don't, no, I don't have any phone. The, I miss him. Anyway, he was funny one, as hell. The middle one is very into himself, and see, I feel like. If it ain't about you, it just ain't gonna be with it, and I don't know. And the other one, if it ain't about like the he, money, the old, no. the the other one, he's he's really into his feelings. Like he really wants something. Wait, wait, hold on. You talking about Jamie Overstreet? Yes. He's not. In, oh, come on. Beast like Boy. he's into her. Beast Boy, is there anything wrong with a dude being into his feelings and his feelings? To an, you don't want me to, answer that, to, to an extent. You don't want me to answer that question um, right now. You don't want me to answer that question. Because I tell you this truth. If a man says his feelings, make a class. Play that tambourine, play that tambourine. Hey, no, hey. Play that tambourine, play that tambourine. No, hey, no, hey. No, play that tambourine, play that tambourine. Hey. No, 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 no. You can't be overly sensitive. You don't even address that shit. Don't listen to Don't address that. We're getting back to the man being in his feelings. There's not that wrong. He's a grown man and he's got money. Beast Boy knows there ain't nothing wrong with having money, right, bro? Of course, I have money. No, he's got more money. Though. And I'm trust me, I'm gonna work that way up to where I have that kind of so, money. So, so you choose Jamie Overstreet? Is that what you're saying? He seems like he got himself together. So yeah, businessman attire. Of course, besides his wife and his kid. Yeah, see that that's right there. You this where you classify as the mistress. Well, the, the side chick. Hold on, man. Home. We're all some type the of home, form of a mistress. In home life. wrecker. We're all some form of a mistress. Bruh. Excuse me. I mean, ma'am. My bro, I meant to say, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me. So, you, so, you call my sister a dude? You call my sister a dude? No, I said, ma'am. No, no. Wait until um, wait until you're gonna beat your ass now. Which I know you yet. I know you stay here. Huh? You were trying to beat someone's ass. Yes, I'm a nigga. That's what niggas do. Calm down, bro. I'm gonna beat your ass. Like you still like 50 cent. No, I'm not 50 cent. You still like Kendrick Lamar. I beat your ass. You talk shit. I will beat your ass. I will beat your ass for making me come down here and beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna beat your ass for making me come down here to beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass twice. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass twice for making me beat your ass once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, shoot. Well, okay. Lady That's, Red says she chooses the forty. Year... Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, okay. Lady Red said you'll you'll choose the guy that's forty years old and that's got his life together. Okay, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Unfortunately, he just got the other situation in hand. Look, man, we all some form of mistress. And then I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you concluded that. In life, we're always got some form of mistress, man. Back in school, <laughs> mistress was the love of adventure, but sadly, I had to always return home. Sadly. Damn, I just thought about something. What? I'm gonna roll on my birthday. You're gonna get roll. You're gonna get what? I'm going to be on a roll on my birthday. What you mean? My birthday is on a Wednesday. Me and Ron and Alex moving out on Wednesday to come to Jacksonville. Oh, the road. Oh. Hey, man. You rolling, you rolling. I just thought about that. That's a fun way to roll, my guy. <laughs> Shit. I'm not going to go ahead and get drunk on my birthday then. Well, you ain't going to drive, are you? Nah. No, that morning I am. Oh, yeah. That yeah I mean, not, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, brother. I don't know what to tell you, man. I told you to figure, this out. I told you to figure this stuff out yourself, man. I know. I, no, no, no. I, no, I just had thought about this. Oh, hey. That's all you, man. But, um. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. The show, she's got to have it. It's good. I like it. And it's got some good themes, man. Oh, okay, I'm going to say good themes. 
it's got themes that left up to her interpretation, as Spike Lee said. Because it's all about taking control of your life. And that's what she's trying to do. She's in a point in her life where she has value, but she's like right at the cusp of having a career, but not really. And and she's gorgeous as hell. They got this really, I think her name is Dewanda something. Gorgeous ass black girl. Just chocolate, yummy, yummy. Mm, beast boy. That's she's attractive. Type. Huh? She's attractive to you? She's all right. She's mm -hmm. all right. She's all right mm. for visual appeal. She has the great star power. She has some gorgeous eyes. Always want want a chick with eyes like she yours. Ain't, she ain't Rihanna? Oh, no, man. No. Always pick a chocolate chick over a light-skinned chick if they're gorgeous. They be showing her cakes. That first, those first couple. Oh, what episodes, if it was Rihanna? You know, Rihanna know how to move the hips, but she and she thicker than a snicker now. So I don't believe that. I I've seen some stuff, Rihanna. It's it's all camera tricks and imagery. Oh, the, or you think she did shots? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I said camera tricks and imagery, like photos and stuff. I'm like just angles. asking a question. Whoa, now we need to quit saying everybody's got injections and titty stuff and stuff like that. Hey, like, mine's natural. So. Of course, yours is natural. I know. I'm just talking about like as far as people being famous. People always want to say somebody's got booty shots. <laughs> Damn. Now, if they white, you automatically assume it. Automatically, unless they're not famous. Right. Well, right. Just be right these boy you agree right yeah okay thank you back me up thank you back me up man like come well, on that's now. because it looks disproportionate yeah yeah white people they ain't got no cakes bro i was watching that floor that floor of bama shore the they've now gone from up north embarrassing I, up north I, I, to embarrassing florida <laughs> yeah that's some bullshit and alabama at the same time oh beast boy they went to florida our, bama bitch yo beast boy they went to our club man which one La Vida. La Vila. Ah. Yeah, they went to our club, G. That'd be crazy if we, if we was on camera over there and we're like, whoa, we're on Florabama. I mean, we all that. Yeah. Yeah, they got some white It would be. But I thought they did that live, though. I don't know. I don't know. When I caught it, it didn't say nothing about live. I just saw it and it was like, oh, it was old Yeah, so I don't know. Mm. That's another part of what happened. This Florabama trap. They're trying to. They, they it's got it. You said what? Huh? Oh, I don't think she's talking to me. Anyways, I was saying they've got done embarrassing up north, so now they're waiting for the 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 millennial degenerates down south, and now they're embarrassing both of our states. I'm like, damn, y'all had to get both. And they're not even in that part that's considered that. They're like not even near. They're like a thousand miles. Name Panama Beach. Yeah. Panama City. Yeah. So it's like not even really considerable. What's your city? Think Panama City, yeah. Then Panama City. That's where KZ is at. KZ's everywhere, dog. I say he might be on. We gotta hang out with. He KZ. might be on Florida, Bama. Yeah, we, we gotta hang out with KZ, man. KZ be riding. That's where they wanted me to go this weekend. I was like, I when he was coming back, I had to work, so I, I could not I enjoy any festivities. It's pretty close to Christmas. I don't know why he's going there now. That's okay. They just do trips. They stayed in the hotel. Is there anyone on the beach? I doubt it. I don't think it's still that hot to be doing. No, they went to clubs and Dave and Busters and who knows, maybe a strip club or something. Go, go to the clubs. Okay, Lady in Red. So anything else you want to add about She's Gotta Have It besides uh, you chose you chose the 40-year-old man who had his life together? Um, he was to break a nail. Ooh, and wait till you see that Ooh, he Spike Lee directed every episode, and not only did he get his wife Ooh. as executive producer and writer, he got a whole army of women to write this. So I don't want to hear all this nonsense. People are like, "Oh, this show's about a whore and blah blah blah." She actually carries herself pretty sensibly as a character. But she's a whore. Hold on now. What about men? But it's raining. I'm I'm just saying, a man's not a whore. He's a pimp. <laughs> well, um, wait, wait, wait. She basically. All right, Taraj and Tanner. Trigger lady in red. She basically has rules. Her three rules are. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean by that, sis? 
I'm, I'm just saying, if a woman put herself out like that, she's a hoe. If a man do it, he's a pimp. Mm. What's wrong I mean, with that? Is that, is that? Is that's what you want to call it? I was gonna uh, say uh, uh uh. What do you call it? Hold on, hold on, Wiz. What do you call it, Amber? I don't call it nothing but just losing your doggone mind. She said you lost your mind. Well, I do that every day. I, look, let me break her rules down. Let me break her rules down, Beast Boy. Okay, rule right. number one: she only sees two of them a week. She only no. She only was with. She's only with three guys now. She's only with three guys. She only sees two. Hold on, who who who's with? Hold on, who's with three guys? No, I'm talking about the character on. She's got to have it. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's only sees two of the dudes. What you thought about me? Shit, she might yeah. See, she might see one. How about you gotta kick your ass and the three, uh, three other guys' ass? Uh, kick Damn. your ass for being a hoe. Damn. Huh? Don't nobody want me out here in these streets. You ain't gotta worry about it. Uh, you, oh. Sis, when we get done with this part of the show, I'm gonna call you. All right. Yeah. And talk to Riz too. All three, uh, both of you at the same time. Awesome. But um, anyway. After the show. Let me let me just do this though. Pretty much, her rules are: doesn't see more than two of them in a week. She also has a rule: don't see the same one. Don't see the, uh, two of them on the same day. And then also, the third rule is: is all everything sexual is done in her bed, and she always wears protection. But yet, she having sex with three guys a week. No, she sees two of them a week. Okay, okay. Still, even then, though. She only and and then sometimes she doesn't but, have sex. But one guy is getting lucky twice, uh, every two weeks. Damn, that's but a good twice. One. Well, yeah, but hey, it's not too bad though. That's not no, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Okay, if she'll get three guys, right? All right, so one week. Listen, look at that. I'm going to break it down to you. One week, right? Okay. Two, she got two guys. Next week, their names are Billy. Uh, well, I can just tell you their names, man. It's Greer, you got Overstreet, and then you got Mars. All right, let's say Overstreet and Mars. You get it for one week. Yes. Right? Next week. Grizz getting her, and then one other guy's getting her. So, you see where I'm coming at? Why don't you have four guys live once a week? Like, one okay, a so week. Okay, saying one will get, so one will get more attention than the other ones. Mostly. Yes. Okay. Somebody getting more attention than the other ones. So, what's wrong with that, though? At least she's, like, keeping rules and structure. And like, yeah, but that's, that's not structure though. Somebody getting more attention than somebody. That's not keeping the structure. they just chilling, meaning they can't catch feelings, I guess, huh? She, yeah, she even said that. They can't catch feelings. And sometimes they just hang out and she paints. She paints. They chill and they paint each other. She so all four of them. She's doing a Titanic. Yeah, okay, Titanic. but hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight though. So all four of them hang out. No, they're not all four. At the same time. Oh, okay. Well, not until the end. No. Not until the end. I'm not gonna spoil the ending, but it's not what you think. Me a butt tell you now that she have me a four something now. Every hole getting filled up now. Her ass pussy and mouth getting filled up now. <laughs> no, it ain't like that. But. Bullshit. You said all them hanging out at the end. I'm just saying though. So they gonna have one big orgy. Episode, the last episode takes place on Thanksgiving. I'm not gonna. Spoil okay, it. you have a Thanksgiving orgy. <laughs> hey. No nah, man, I'm gonna say that. Uh, you know, I she one, that. You know, I experienced one of those. So hush. Oh, huh? Yo. <laughs> Hold on, what? We say this. She said, "Let no. her dragon awaken. The hellfire will consume them all. The dark mm -hmm. infernal rook, the rocks. I mean, the dark infernal rocks." Uh, I'm just saying though. Okay. You said at the end, all <laughs> form not to the end, so all form hang out. So she basically having an orgy with all that. three of them. I said that's not what you think. It's not what you think. Nah, bullshit. 
Spike Lee, anybody gonna think that? And let people know anybody's listening. That's not a spoiler. Even Spike Lee said it ends. It is a spoiler. All of them gonna have sex at the end together. <laughs> One big thing is giving orgy. Somebody oh gonna God. get that drum leg. Somebody gonna get some breasts. This is this is. Bro, though it's not. She didn't have enough breasts to satisfy yeah. one. I mean, she's got, she. I mean, she nice and all, but she ain't got. I'm talking about the Thanksgiving turkey. Oh man. What you talking about? Okay. I, I, <laughs> that's the turkey leg. One gets the leg. One gets the other leg. One gets the breast. Yeah. One gets the thigh. Oh man, it's gonna be a horrible Thanksgiving. No one's gonna have no turkey left. I'd be kind of. Nope. Mad. I would be kind of mad. That'd be wait. Those all those <laughs> are big too. They eat a lot, but. Yeah, it's a good show, man. And um, if you have the same feeling Beast Boy has, it's up to you to decide that. And if you have uh, the same feeling Lady in Red has, it's up to you. Spike Lee oh. said he made it completely up to you. And it talks about a whole lot of themes as far as, like, gentrification and uh, black women as far as Y'all, are they objects. Uh, that's, just so, that's just some freaky stuff. But it's all up to you, man. So... Anyway, let's move on to the next Flix recommendation, man. We're going to talk about this this crisis on Earth X. Oh, yes. I'm ready for this. I guess no one knows about this, so I'm going to talk about it. So pretty much CW has their own superhero shows. It's basically the superhero network now because they got like six super, like four or five. Okay, my bad. Not five, not six. They got four superhero. But they have five, actually. But they got five superhero shows. Four of them are going on right now. The Supergirl, Trash, Arrow, Decent, Flash, Mediocre, and then Legend of Tomorrow, Trash, okay? They usually, every year, they have a crossover special before the mid-season finale. This one, it was about... The end of the first episode. Wait, it what, what, huh? <laughs> She's talking to me? Supergirl's trash, Lady in Red. Get over it. Man, better tell you now. Supergirl be not trash now, but It's nothing but... She be high. It's pondering trash, bro. She be high. I'm just saying that she be high in her outfit, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. But... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Now, uh-huh. Now she not trash no more, huh? <laughs> you pervert. Hey, look, man. I'm gonna say this, bro. You can yeah, find... Per- uh-huh. I don't wanna pictures. hear you, pervert. You can find pictures of the girl online, bro. Oh, you you found a picture of the girl, you pervert? You masturbating to her now, you pervert? You can find pictures of that chick. Whoa, what did this that word came from? Yes, she did movies. Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm here. Hello? I was like, can y'all hear me? I heard you. you yeah. Me. Where listen. did that word just come from? I kind of missed it. My signals kind of came out. Oh, say it again, Beast Boy. You can find pictures online of Super Big Man. Man, you pervert. So, so you look at this girl, but you don't like her, though. So, so, so you pervert. I don't like her show. Her show's trash. Let me get back to this, man. This show. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But she in that outfit, though. She in that outfit, though. Actually. I actually ain't nothing my ass, though. You know you masturbate to that gotta, shit, you pervert. I'm trying to explain it to you. <laughs> she basically is at a wedding. The Flash and Iris are getting married, and it's about. Mm-hmm. Their alter, their alter universe counterparts, Wanna alternate t- universe counterparts. No, com- I don't need to know. What is she talking about? She doesn't need to know. Yes, you do. We need to know. They come from, they're Nazis, right? But no, no, not the Flash. Flash doesn't have a counterpart. But Arrow has a counterpart. He's the Hitler of their universe. And Supergirl is his fucking, whatever his girlfriend is, Hitler's girlfriend is. Pretty much, they're Nazis. They come over to the current Earth, and that's what it's about. Nazis fighting. And there's people actually mad about this. This is freaking awesome. This was way better mm. than Justice League. This is like the Justice Lords. Remember from Justice League, the TV show, when they had the Justice Lords and it was like the evil counterparts? Yeah. Everything that I wanted from Justice League, and it was done much better, and it was longer. Smaller budget, longer. Four parts. They showed them two episodes in one night. So that's two hours. So literally, Justice League was forced to be two hours. This was forced to be two hours. They did better in their each two-hour segments of each night. And then combined together, you basically got a four-hour film. And it was fucking amazing. Better than Justice League. I was like, yes. Arrow was a better Batman than fucking Batman was. He knew when to put people down and when not to. 
and then Supergirl was actually sweet. She had a cool ass move where she was fighting the Uber girl. That's her name, Uber girl, because you know she's she's German. And like they're battling the sky, and they actually had laser beams shooting at each other, and they're like spinning around in a circle, like. And it wasn't no stupid moronic DC nonsense where punch, you know, you gotta punch someone through a building. It's straight up we can fly, so there's no reason something be should something should be destroyed. That was freaking great. Then the Flash had the fight. Get ready for it, people. The reverse Flash. I know. I swear to God, he died in the first season. He died in Legends of Tomorrow. Why is he not dead? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Why isn't the reverse flash dead, Beast Boy? Do you know? Beast Boy gave up on me. Beast Boy, are you alive? I'm here. I'm listening. Why, why is the fuck? Do you know why the reverse flash can still be alive? Because. <laughs> He's gay. That's why. That character is gay. Why do you hate him? Because he's gay. God, you're so articulate. Are you watching wrestling? Yes. Yeah, I bet you like the Reverse Flash if he was on wrestling, wouldn't you? Yeah. What? I bet you like him if he was on wrestling, wouldn't you? Nope. Whatever. Anyway. I don't know why the reverse flash is still Play that tambourine, play that, play that tambourine. Hey, hey. Plus, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down. He can go back into time and make himself younger. Then go back to the present. I was going to say, I was going to get ready to roast you. You know, he got that. I was going to roast you, but that actually sounds. Who, me? Yes, but that actually makes fucking sense. You got to put it onto the, onto the door now. I just thought it. He knew he had to speed for us. That actually makes. Oh my! I'm so bad. You're bullshitting and you're making sense. That makes perfect sense because he's time traveled so Pill. much. Yes. He time traveled so much. He's intrinsic throughout. He's intrinsic throughout time. Like. He, you remember Flash Point, right? Yeah. Okay. Remember how he went back in time to save, try to save his mom? Yeah, and then the Reverse Flash was traveling through time. Yeah. He happened to end up in the alternate yeah. reality. Yep. Oh my! I'm so mad because you were just bullshitting and you somehow stumbled onto something that I didn't even think about. I hate. Yeah, see, sometimes I don't bullshit around. I know my facts too at the same time. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Sometimes you bullshit around. Yeah, the Flash is your dude. I'm kind of mad that you found that that actor was the actor on the movie Justice League was gay. Yeah. You kind of ruined the Flash for me, sir. How could you? I can't watch. This new Flash movie, <laughs> it looked the same. Like Lady Ruby Red was just saying last week, he, she could see how he could be gay, and uh, yep, I'm so mad you found that out. Damn, I didn't even think about that. Well, don't be mad at me for saying it. Whatever. Look, man, we know his character's not gay. We just know the actor. That was wonder why he was running like a little fruit cup. Nobody Dude, was don't... talking about Flash. Everyone was talking about the actor. Yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, he's doing like the little jiggy move. That fucking little shark move with the shoulders of how he was running like the, the, the dude was swimming i was like no put, put your stance down and get in the runner position and run this dude trying to ice skate like shadow the hedgehog but this flat we know the tv show flash is better and they everyone was done perfectly you could literally jump into this and just watch this and just be like yeah the main point not so yeah. bad it was much better than justice league i think i get into that tv show i, I gotta watch that tv show the flash Yes. I gotta get caught up on all this stuff. Yes, you do. You get caught up on Arrow, Flash. Arrow kicks ass. One day, my, matter of fact, I'm on Friday and I'm on Saturday to this week. So, I can just binge watch episodes. You could. And it's everything. Because I work Tuesday through Thursday and on Friday and Saturday. And everything's on Netflix too, man. So you can just straight watch through the crossovers back to back well at least as far as the yeah. last crossover with the alien and there's a crossover is that on Netflix already uh not the new not the newest episodes but they got the previous crossover on there with the aliens that one was garbage oh, okay that one was hot shit you see why I'm liking this one that one was trash it didn't make no sense 
Everybody was saying random stupid stuff. <clears throat> Biden said it was a four part crossover. And then they completely forced everyone to watch a Supergirl episode. And then then the crossover happens at the last second. Where it's like they just the flash comes through a portal and he's like, We need your help. Like people were so pissed. And Supergirl got got like three million views or whatever on that episode and like people were just waiting for the crossover and it it didn't even happen with this one they just said look every this whole first episode is going to basically be a flash episode where supergirl says i'm going to go to the flash and go to his wedding and it was freaking man awesome fight scenes dude better than just okay i got i got a question to ask you yes what would be other than my theory what is your theory uh how to flash down age the reverse first flash on age. Yeah, I don't know. Who's your theory? I see here. Okay, okay. My theory on the reverse flash was at least for the TV show Flash. The TV show Flash, yeah. pretty much. He he um his ancestor killed himself in the first season, right? Uh huh. So he faded out of existence. So it's like yeah, he's gone. So he should be done, right? And right. Then, in Legends of Tomorrow. Wait, was it Legends of Tomorrow? Yeah, it was Legends of Tomorrow. No, 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 it was Flash Season 2. You see him again. You're like, what the hell? He's still there. And they said pretty much, he's pretty much been going back in time piece by piece from like 30 years into the future. Or like 30 or 50 years into the future. So pretty much, it was kind of like what you said. But I just kind of figured, oh, it's old versions of himself. Just slowly going right. back in time until he gets to the Flash's parents. And then right. you find him in Legends of Tomorrow... And in Legends of Tomorrow, you're like, uh-huh. what the f- he's alive in Legends of Tomorrow. He's like the main villain. He's like, yeah, I'm running from death because apparently I died. So I was thinking, oh, man, he must have, so when he met the Flash on accident, he must be like, Ooh, let me see what, close, how uh, this ends. All right, don't now. Now, nah. have you seen Justice League Dark? Um, that was the one where, wasn't that the one where Batman had the codes for everyone to get beat or something? No, uh, 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 that's doomed. That's doomed. Uh, Justice League Dark is how lessons to go into an universe where back on Owl Man and all that. Now, and this one, I don't want to spoil it for you though. I think I have seen it because yeah, it's Owl Man, right? And then Batman kills Owl Man, and ba- Batman says the badass line. He's like, "The difference between you and no, me no, 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 no." I look into the abyss. yeah. He said, but he said a but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. Yep, yep. Okay, yeah, I seen it. Yep. I seen it. I just, okay. I remember uh, it now, the Flash in the all universe on that uh, movie, he was using Speed Force. Way up. Oh, because you told him when he died. You told him when he aged. It was gonna happen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that part? I remember because he had to hold the thing open by vibrating really fast or running really fast or something. Yeah. So, I think he must have been going. I think he must have been speaking into the future. That's how he got old, like that. So you think he? That's why I say he can speak for us back into the past or back to when he's young and stay like that. So you're pretty much saying he uses the speed force to like help reverse his aging. Yes. Yeah, I've heard crazier stuff about the Speed Force than that. So hey, it could make sense because like the Speed Force pretty much is the excuse of why his skin doesn't tear apart when he's running. Yeah. Why, why his body doesn't break down running and how he could have so much energy, even though he still eats food. Matter of fact, do this. Search it on the internet. How to Flash stay young? Oh Lord. Okay. How to Flash stay? Then you have a different. Yeah. I don't think he flash stays yet. Yeah. I don't oh, think he does yeah. that. Yeah. But if he used the speed force. How does the flash Put him on my stay frame. young? I don't think. Okay, now get down. Get down. Get down. Age difference between Barry Allen and Aobard. Oh, shit. See, I'm, see, every time I underestimate you, look, there is something on it. Why is the way talking uh-huh. about the future flash new? Yeah, there's something on the flash TV series. But there are some plot holes with the Flash TV series, because one time when he did go back to stop his mom from getting killed, yeah. his future self knew that he was there, and he was like, nah, don't do it. Yeah. And my theory on that was that pretty much he's been through this whole situation before and witnessed his mom get killed, 
and he knew that his he knew that his previous self was there in the first place. Yeah, cause remember in Flash Point, he wished he could run faster. Yeah, to save his mom. Cause he went into the future seeking to try to save his mom. But if he had if he had saved his mom in the future in the past, remember how the future was different from him saving his mom. Yeah. Okay, it says the flat. It says the reverse flash. Aobard Thon was born in twenty one fifty one. Twenty one. Oh, man, people bring up a good point. People are saying, "Why the hell?" People are saying like Aobard was born in like twenty one fifty one, but Barry Allen was born in nineteen eighty nine. That dude's like twenty. So, so the Flash is like okay. The Flash should be like in his forties, at, at the yeah. minimum. At the minimum, that's being nice. That dude actually should be like in his fifties or sixties. Well, yeah. Dang, this might be it. Might be a mistake though. Might be. You never know. It says the Flash lived longer than normal people. Then Iris wouldn't have. But we saw a reporter's name as Iris in the future. There are several flashes. How is Aobar the enemy of Barry? Barry should have been dead when he was born. I'm all messed up. How are Aobar, Thawne, and Barry enemies after having an age difference of 162 years when they travel back in time? I'm trying to figure, like, oh, yeah, oh. at best when Flash meets Aobar, he should be in, like, in his 40s or 50s. They might need to adjust that. Yeah. Cause, oh, or maybe, or maybe Aobar got so obsessed with the Flash, he's like, I want to go meet this dude so badly. And then he like he looked in the history books and he saw that, oh man, I'm his actual enemy. I'm gonna get speed powers then. Yeah. Go back and meet him and and fulfill the the prophecy of me being his enemy. That's just my theory. I don't know. It's ridiculous. But somehow he's the main villain once again in Earth X. <laughs> Somehow he's the main. You mean ten of oh, ten? Oh, say, no. what it, say it again. Say it again. You mean Earth ten, not Earth X? Well, they call it Earth X. Oh, okay. Yeah, they call it Earth X because it's they they okay they established pretty much there's fifty two in the in this whole DC TV verse. They said they yeah. said pretty much. Is that my universes. boy? Yeah, it's D Howard. What's up? He hasn't joined yet. Good. Oh, wait, he joined? Oh, he's yeah. in here. Yeah. See, look at you, not paying attention. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I'm, I'm searching up stuff on the Flash, ma'am. All right, D. Howard. Yo. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. You can shut the door in your mama's face. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I was just saying, shut the door in your mama's face. Who's shut the door in your mama's face? Shut the door in your mama's face? <laughs> 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 Alright, let me ask you a question. Nick, how do you think the Flash stays so young? Um, well, he got uh, accelerated molecules. I guess I don't know. I can barely hear him. I don't know. Oh, so he's yeah. going to be scientific, you know, scientific, logical way of you know. The yeah, molecules and stuff like that in his body. Slow down his, uh, aging process. What? I can't hear him. How come everyone else can hear him except for me? I don't know. Oh, man. I want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> I was saying maybe he has a, a slow healing process that slows down his aging because, you know, he can, you know. Oh, okay. So you're saying that he, his healing factor. Who else looks young? Pharrell looks young, though. No, we're, do you even know? What, I don't think she's. We're talking about the Flash and how the Flash. I know like, that, but I'm saying like he's not the only one that looks so young. Oh, well. I don't know. Because the main thing is we're trying to. Okay, D. Howard, we're basically talking about. And keep coming back. Yeah, yeah, we're basically talking about the crisis, the um, t the superhero crossover thing they did last week with all the CW shows, right? And like me and Beast Boy, I told Beast Boy that the Reverse Flash has come back young once again. This dude has died twice throughout this whole series of universes and shows, right? He died on the Flash, he died on the Legends of Tomorrow, 
And then you find out he's the main villain again for this whole massive crossover. And then he's a snitch. This dude went over to this alternate universe that they don't even, they call Earth X, right? Where it's ruled by Nazis. And it's the alternate reality version of Green Arrow and Supergirl. He went over there and he like helped them get their technology up. And I guess they took over the world. Nazis helped or took over the world or whatever. And basically, he said, yo, come over here and fuck up the Flash for me. Get all this shit out of my house. <laughs> I love you, too. So, on, we're trying to figure out how did Reverse Flash survive and how was the Flash staying so... How are they both staying so young? Because they shouldn't be knowing each other. Because we just found out how when Reverse Flash was born. He was born in, like, 2151. He could, one way, to create time remnants of himself and... Keep coming back as that. <gasps> oh, see for it. Oh, I didn't think true, that. true. But this is what I was thinking. I was thinking he's using the speed force to go back in time to stay young. Keep going back to the part where he was young, then coming back, or just vibrate until he was young again. Good point. Y'all have some good points. Okay, so in case I don't know if anyone can hear D Howard from our recording, but D Howard said. He could have created time remnants. Basically, like you run a split second into the past before you decide to run a split second into the past. Therefore, there's two of you that exist. But time remnants can also work, and you could go into the past further where you'll meet up with yourself, and then you could decide later on to do that. So, pretty much, that's what A.O. Bar could have done. Because it's pretty much like it's pretty much like an echo of yourself left in time while your original self could probably be either gone or you know safe because he has done that before like he literally will like create a time remnant then his regular self will his original self will just run away and it's like he will still be there his time remnant will be there like he's very known for that crap damn but that's good theories. That's that's good theories, man. Because I'm looking online right now, and people are like, actually, I didn't think Beast Boy had any credit, but this guy, he's blowing my mind away, because I didn't even think about this. Because even people are questioning it now on the TV show, because they're like, Aobard Thawne was born, or was supposed to be born on 2151. So, Flash should be at least, when he meets Aobard, he should at least be like 40 or 50, not 160-something. Damn, good theories. And and the reverse flash runs back in time. So that's a good point though, Beast Boy. He could he could basically run to the past and live out his thing. But he couldn't have done that on the on the season one of the flash though. On season one, uh he didn't have no speed force to draw from. So he had to create a machine to keep himself, you know, with speed. Right. Yeah. Oh, the hard I'm Time to break the news to you. I don't know if you know or not, but the Flash in the Justice League movie, he's gay. The actor, so the actor. So what? The, the actor, so the actor. The actor, the actor that plays the Flash in the new Je Justice movie, Justice League movie, is gay. Well, how is that relevant to the DC universe? Because he's a salty, <laughs> hating motherfucker. That's why. I'm just saying though. <laughs> It was a document. It was a, um. They did a whole thing on HBO. Cause it was coming out with the movie. The characters were talking and everything about the movie, and he was saying that he is a proud gay actor. Oh no! It's the agenda. He would. Why would you need to come out and say all that? Not saying you had to, but why would you need to come out and say that? I mean, if you wanted to, that's it. I have found this out while I was watching something on HBO. Wait, uh, D. Howard, can you get close to your mic? Because you're still standing far away. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Now. now, what you saying, D. Howard? What? I was saying about that. No, he's pretty, he's pretty much saying like he doesn't he's not worried about that. I guess yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I guess that's cool. Either not cool. I guess, yeah. you know, well, why don't think about that? Why? Yeah, 
It's, I'm not gonna be. I'm not one of those types, man. I'm just saying. Look at the people that guys are just. Is it really that big of a deal? Wait, no, Doctor Strange is not. Oh, it's my Doctor Strange. Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't think Benedict Cumberbatch is Cumberbatch is gay. Shut it up. Yeah, but I was gonna say this. I'm not one of those guys. But listen to this, D. Howard. Are the greatest icons of being heroes right now? At least Justice League. They're falling off the map right now. But our Batman is a cheating adulterer and a womanizer with sexual harassment allegations. Our Batman, okay? Our Wonder Woman, as gorgeous as she is, she is Israeli. I thought y'all hated people from Israeli and all those over there or whatever. She's a red. What? She's, Who said that? They always try to turn the sentiment against Muslims. There's always an anti-Muslim or anti-Israeli sentiment going on because they're a little back and forth tiff. Well, for one, you're not Israeli. I know. Everybody's trying to know about Israel. It's really Kazarian. That's what she is. She's Kazarian. They got dark hair. You know, they're European. They had their, the Kazaria. Ran all over Russia, all over Europe, all over Germany, all that. So what she really is, is a Khazarian, descendant of a penis worshiper. Okay. Because I remember she was saying that. And she was like, I'm from Israel and I was a soldier. But she's like, she wasn't like a true soldier, you know? Like she actually fought in war. She wasn't like that. But that's what she, you know, I think in Israeli, everyone's required to register for the the military, but you don't put the work in, really. So I was like, that's an interesting, interesting. And now we find out that our Flash is a young gay man. These are, this is our Justice League here, people. This is our Justice League. And now we have Cyborg, like... Is this a representation of America? Are you guys thinking about that? Like, uh, no. You don't? Like, we're not philanderers. We're not sexual adulterers. We're not uh, mixed race people. African Americans as well who are upset with our lives and what's happening, what happened to us. Not millennials and young gay millennials. Hmm? Are you a young gay millennial? I'm a black man, and sometimes I can be upset. Cyborg. I'm not black. I'm indigenous. I'm indigenous to the earth. You're indigenous I'm to the, the original earth. man. I can feel the step. I can I'm feel the original step. man. This is a all, theory. The, all the breed, all all of them came from from my breed. I'm a true Hebrew. Okay, I can I can see. Yeah, people tell me I still got to do my research on it, man. I ain't saying that's not true. I'm not saying it is. I just gotta do my research. I, I understand understand the myth, the mythology because certain people's lands are. Think about it. Think about All right. right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Hold on. Holding. Hold on for a second. Um, we're gonna wrap. Gotcha. We're gonna wrap this part up real quick.